Right, guys, we are live, and I apologize for being a little bit late for this game. Uh, the Greek words have, and the cheaters have already started. So we're about seven and a half minutes into this uh, first half, and it's going to be a scrum down to uh, the Greek was roundabout on their own 22. So, yeah, I was hoping to get here a little bit earlier, but unfortunately, uh, things didn't work out that way. But I am here now, and uh, we are going to have a look to see whether this cheetah side can actually live up to the expectations. Um, a very young side been picked for today as well. Um, but as we heard earlier, that there's a lot of expectations from this cheetah side to win this competition. So a little bit of a mix up there at the back for the Greek West, but they do kick this forward now up to halfway. And here they come through uh, Clayton Blomick. He's now up to the 10 meter line. Here's the cheetahs now. Comes back from uh, Ruan Pino. Out it goes to Manisi, up to the 10 meter line. Pinar again. Here comes Opa Mahoje, up through the middle, through the tight, uh, loose head prop forward there. Uh, Pinar again bursting away, up to five meters out from the 22. An opportunity out wide. If they go wide, here Manisi. Out it goes to Tian Mayer, up to the 22 meter line. Goes the Cheetahs now. They need to get quick ball back here now. Comes back to Clayton Blomick. He's oh, the, the loose head prop. Is running up to the 10 meter lines here, and here comes the cheetahs. They just need to go wide from here. Surely there's an opportunity. Great defense from the from the Greekers, and uh, unfortunately for them, it does go into touch. So a valiant effort there from the Greekwa defense. It was uh, the lucid prop uh, from the from the cheetahs that did exceptionally well there. Cameron Dawson, also a new guy in this cheetah side. That made a couple of meters up uh, field there. At the moment it is Gideon van der Merwe down for for the for the Greek West. He is going to leave the field here for a quick HIA test. So, yeah, it looks like the cheetahs might be coming alive here in this game as well. So it's going to be a line out to the cheetahs now, about five meters out from the Greek West try line, and a great opportunity for them to get onto the board. Right, uh, it is like I said, well, it looks like we might have a scrum down here for a little knock on though. So we'll just see how this pans out. Just going quickly through the team lineups because I haven't had time to do that. Uh, for the Greek quest, we've got uh, Banda, Kassendi, JC Nell, Andre Swat, Edwin Gator, George Whitehead, and Stefan Ungren. Un Un <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Sorry, guys. What the hell is happening today? Uh, yeah, let's leave, let's leave it for now. Enki Pinar says, hello, Guru, how's it going, man? So the forwards for the Greek was uh, Sergal, Guama, Gideon van der Merwe, Lindsay, Jean-Ray Leonard, Ewald van der Wees, and Hanku Ace, and Andre Bierwinkel. So it is a scrum down to the Greek was about five meters out from their own try line. Uh, we'll go through the cheetah lineup in just a little bit uh, while I try and figure out how you pronounce the scrum half's name. But it is now fed in by, uh, is it Unrega? Unrega, who is going to feed this to the scrum for the grid quest. But the scrum has gone down. So let's quickly go through this cheetah's lineup. Uh, Clayton Blomikis, Duncan Sol, Ivardi Bosov, uh, Howard Manisi, Tian Mayer, Reinhard Fortein, and Ruan Pinar. So uh, as you guys can see, a very inexperienced backline there, just like Blomikis, uh, Duncan Sol, Howard Manisi. And Ruan Pino there. The forwards, Gideon van Wijk, Jock Potita, Jean Droste, Bernardo, uh, Sacchetti, Kutsia, Arnoldi, and Cameron Dawson. So, yeah, scrum down to the Greek was about five meters from their own try line. An opportunity now to clear their lines here. Obviously, this is the build up to the big one, guys. The Lions taking on Japan in the game after this one, which we will also be doing. Um, on this channel so yeah a lot of rugby and hopefully we can do that final of the gallagher premiership as well between exeter and the harlequins a little bit later on right we've had about 11 minutes in this game uh wilhelm the good has joined guru how are you i'm very good thank you wilhelm um it's just a little bit late again today so yeah i don't know what is going on Timing is not there. I wanted to do the Bulls Pumas game last night and something just uh, came up. Nearly missed this one as well. 
So let's hope uh, we don't miss the rest of this uh, of this uh, day's uh, rugby today. So a little free kick there to the Creekers now. So they will be able to clear this uh, from their own try line opportunity for them to get out of their own 22. It's going to be a massive ask from uh, this Creekers side today. But we've seen the Pumas really coming to the party in this Curry Cup so far. Nearly upsetting the Bulls again last night. So, yeah, it's interesting stuff here, man. Um, the Kiwi Let's How, mate? Uh, who do you think will win this? It's a tough one, but I do think that the Cheetahs will come away with the victory. Um, hopefully, uh, they learn from their previous mistakes and they can build on something for the future here. But like I said, very inexperienced side today. It's taken out up by the number eight, Hideon van Beek, for the Cheetahs. Right about uh, on a 10-meter line, taken forward by the big uh, forwards now. I'm not so um, renowned with the names here today, so... Hopefully, as we go, we'll we'll get to know all these guys beforehand. So, Banda is going to kick this downfield for Griquis, and uh, he's going to find touch roundabout between halfway and the 10 meter line. But quickly thrown in by the Cheetahs, and they make a mess of it. Dion Mayer under pressure inside his own 22 now. The Griquis trying to disrupt them here, but somehow they've managed to get this back as well. So. Ruan Pinar at the back of this uh, ruck, just waiting for that ball to come out and an opportunity to clear his own line. He goes to the box kick over the top and he's going to find touch round about on the 10 meter line inside their own half. Troubling time for them. Well, Helen the Good says, can't wait for the British Irish Lions versus Japan. Absolutely, that is going to be a big one. Everybody expecting the Lions to really walk away with that game, but it could be. A very different story there because there is quite a lot of those uh, World Cup winners in that side as well. So yeah, let's see what's going to happen with the rest of this game, guys. Like I said, please have patience with me with the names because there's a lot of youngsters here and uh, still get to know. I didn't have any time to prepare for this game. So yeah, the throw in there by the number two of the Griquas. Hanko Ace not in straight, so there's going to be a scrum down now to the Cheetahs uh, inside their own half, right about on the 10 meter line. Opportunity for the, for the Cheetahs maybe to go on the attack here. We've had about 14 minutes in this game. Let me see if I can pull up that uh, flash ball thingy again for us uh, last time round. I wanted to do that, but somehow the monetization didn't work out for that one. And uh, I had to stop it at half time. So hopefully this is not the case today. Let's see what the cheetahs can do from inside their own uh, 10 meter line. Right, Ruan Pinar to feed this to the scrum for us. Uh, let's see if we can get that up for us real quickly. So it doesn't seem like they do have that. So here comes the cheetahs now on the attack. It's Blomik is up to halfway. It has gone backwards but then knocked on there by Manisi so we are going to have a scrum down on halfway for the uh, Griquas so a little bit of a mistake there from uh, them but we are going to come back for a penalty round about on a 10 meter line inside their own half just trying to see if I can pull up the curry cup uh, thing here but I don't see anything here so we might not be able to show you guys that score which I wanted to do. So that is not going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, just checking one last time before I get too in a hurry. Um, no, they don't have it. Oh, they do have it. No, they don't. Sorry. <laughs> no, so we don't have that. So we'll have to make way with the scoring that we've got at the moment. Achilles says, hi, guys. Uh, I'm out for the Cheetahs today. And then uh, 11J says, hi, hope you're well. Glad to see you're safe and back, Guru. Thanks, uh, thanks Achilles. Uh, appreciate that. So there's going to be a line out, and it's been taken by the Cheetahs five meters out from the Griquist try line. An opportunity for them to get a try here. They go with the driving ball, and it's looking good for the Cheetahs early on. Yeah, let's see if they can pull, work their way over the try line. Just held up short, but a penalty coming for the Cheetahs again. Illegal mauling there from the Griquas. 
So still a penalty five meters out from the try line for the Cheetahs now. Right, who do you guys think is going to win this? I think the Cheetahs might just come away with this one, although they've got a very inexperienced side and the Griquas are really hard to beat at home. I do think that the Cheetahs might get away with a victory here. We've had about 17 minutes and a chance now for the Cheetahs to... Oh, they've gone quickly and here comes Ruan Pinar. Throws a little bit of a bad pass there, but they've managed to get it back and still run five meters out from the tie line. Now it's Oko Mohoje. Putting his head down, not gaining any ground with that one. Now Pinar. Pinar out it goes to Manisi again. Back inside it goes to Blomikis. They've lost a bit of ground as the Cheetahs now that comes back. Runs the big forwards now. The number seven, Jock Botita making his way upfield. Now the pick and go from the big tight forwards. Not getting any ground with it though. And here comes the Cheetahs again going wide. Manisi caught in the middle of the field. Brilliant defense from the Griquas. They've lost plenty of ground. They've about run about five meters out from the 22 now. The Cheetahs on a, on a run again. Ruan Pino waiting for that ball to come out. He does find Opa Mohoche again. Takes on two defenders, but White has got him covered, covered there. And now uh, another charge here from Ruan Pino. Still about two meters out from the 22. Ruan Pino tries to snipe on his own. Up to the 22 meter line. A little bit isolated though. Will he give away a penalty? No, it does come back to them. Here they come through the number two. Making his way up to just over the 22. Again, Hart Minisi. The, the Griquas defense really holding out at the moment. Brilliant grip there on the ground. And the Griquas have stolen that, but illegally so again. And surely they will go for goal from here as the Griquas. Five meters out from the 22, right in the middle of the field. What will they decide? Oh, Ron Pino is going to go for touch again. Uh, yeah, 11 J said, hope the Cheetahs win. I guess it's nice to see Kiwis here. Yeah, so they are going to line up another line out just about, well, let's see where it goes out first before we make that call. Uh, the, uh, 11 J said, I guess, hi, I hope you're well. So another five meter line out for the Cheetahs now. The throw in coming here from uh, Arnoldi for the for the Cheetahs. And uh, the penalty against the Cheetahs there. The guys uh, obstruction there from them. And uh, that is really disappointing for the Cheetahs outfit here. Still 0-0 uh, zero, zero as we enter the 20 minute mark in this game. White is going to kick this downfield for, for the Griquas. Again, uh, like I said, I didn't go through the team lineup beforehand. So let's just quickly go through it again. So we've got Banda at fullback. Then we've got Cassandi, JC Nell, Andre Swat, Edwin Kater, um, George White, and, and Stefan Unriga for the uh, Greek words in the back line. And then the forwards, Sergal Guama, Van der Merwe, Lindsay, Leonard, Van der Vestes, and Ace, and Bierwinkel. Interesting uh, pick for both teams today. Right, so the throw in from the Griquas on halfway. They form them all, but quickly gone out. A good tackle there from the Griquas. Stops them right about on halfway now. Another opportunity for the Griquas now. Here they come. They're building up through the forwards here over halfway they go. Now Unriger, out it goes to White, who puts it on the boot. That one is going to roll, and it's going to roll not short of the dead ball line. So there's going to be a 22-meter uh, restart here for the Cheetahs. 11J said it was a close game for the Bulls yesterday. Pumas did really well. Yeah, a bit gutted that I couldn't do that game eventually, but yeah, we'll have to do with today's one. So the, Greek, the Cheetahs now have got ball just uh, outside the round 22. They decided not to go with the kick in and tap it really quickly or just chip kick it really quickly from their own 22. Some silly mistakes or silly decisions so far as that ball comes out from Ruan Pinar out to Clayton Blomikis who kicks it downfield, not going to find touch. And now there's a chance for George White to send this in right into the air. Banda is chasing it down. Uh, will he get to that? No, he won't. Blomikis will get their first roundabout on halfway now. 
Ruan Pino waiting for that ball. Another penalty against the Cheetahs here. And uh, holding on is the call from the referee. So what will the, the Greek was do now? Right on halfway, right about on the middle of the field. And I see that it is uh, injury to Stefan Undrega at the moment for the uh, Greek was. So what will they decide to do here? Oh, there was a thumping tackle from the number eight, Kirion van Weyck, on Unriga there. He didn't expect that at all. And a massive hit. Caused a little bit of issues for him. So he is down getting, receiving some attention at the moment. 11J said, looking forward to the Lions game later on. Also hope Harlequins wins today. I was wondering why there was no front stain for the Cheetahs today. Is he at the Bok camp or injured? He is in the Bok camp. So that is why he isn't playing. Presty Quick says, uh, prediction for the Lions Japan game, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a close one. I think maybe the Lions by 15 to 20 points, maybe. Uh, I know it's a little high, but I really expect them to be like the star the team that they are, just to dominate Japan. I think the vibe of the World Cup is all over now. So the kick from George White, it goes to the left. So the score remains 0-0 after 23 minutes. So not what the two teams are expecting so far. We always expected the close game, but yeah, 0-0 zero, zero is a bit far-fetched, one would say. Right, so the kick downfield from the from the Cheetahs now taken forward by the Griquas run about up to the 10-meter line. Unrigo waiting for it to come out. Now finds George White. Out it goes to Banda, tries to step his way out of trouble, but held up beautifully by the Cheetahs. Somehow it comes back to the forwards, up to the 10-meter line again for the Griquas, waiting for that ball. We've had about 24 minutes and another penalty. Here comes Unrega, quickly taken by him. Up over halfway he goes, gets the offload beautifully here for the Greek West up to the 22 meter line. Goes the tight hit prop. Uh, great run there from Evel van der Westhuizen. Now it comes back, Lindsay. Out it goes to the outside center. JC now up to the 5 meter line. Can the Greek West score the first points? No, they can't. It's a penalty to the Cheetahs. And uh, yeah, bad mistake from them holding on. On the ground as well there. So, well, we are going to come back for, it seems like a penalty. Yeah, no, it is the penalty that stands for the for the Cheetahs here. So an opportunity to get out of their own uh, try or try zone at the moment. 11J said it was a shame for Joe Athlon getting injured yesterday. According to Jake White, it looks like his career is finished. Did he break something or what? Yeah, I'm not aware of that, 11J said. So... Yeah, it's been one of those things. Joe Aplon back in South Africa, got injured in Super Rugby Unlocked, was out for a long time. Now he's back. Now he got injured again. So, yeah, it's probably it's probably about time that he maybe hangs up to his uh, boots and concentrate on something else. Because, uh, let's be honest, uh, he hasn't really made the impact that everybody was expecting him to make at the uh, Bulls. So the lineup taken now by the Cheetahs run about on their own 10-meter line. They are mulling it forward up to halfway. Now comes the Cheetahs. Opportunity for them to really get something going in this game because it's no nil at the moment. The box kick over the top from Ruan Pino up to the 10-meter line inside. Quick was off. Now George White had to have a silly pass intercepted by the Cheetahs now up to the, well, five meters out from the 22. Here they come again. Comes out to Clayton Blomick. He steps a few defenders. Still inside the 22 now, Howard Manisi. Howard Manisi gives it out to the hooker there, uh, Hunker Ace, moving it forward for them. Now Ruan Pino waiting for it to come back. He finds it. Now comes to Tian Mayer. Opportunity out wide here for the Cheetahs. Surely they must score here. The ball comes out to the to the number six, or oh, two meters short of the try line. Ruan Pino waiting for it. Now he gets it away. And looks like they've taken him into touch with a penalty coming for the Cheetahs. Well, and a yellow card is coming as well. So it is, uh, let's see, number, I think it's the tighted prop, uh, Evald van der Westhuizen, who gets the yellow card there. And he's not happy at all. But yeah, no, it's actually the number 800, Sergal, who gets the yellow card for... Uh, professional foul there, so yeah, 
Spero asking, do you think if Kate Vol had to, uh, wasn't injured, he would make the Springbok squad? Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, he would have probably not made the side for the British and Irish Lions tour, but he's definitely somebody that Rossi and uh, Jock Ninava is looking at for the future for the Springboks. So definitely. The lineup was overthrown and now kicked forward here by the Greek was not the greatest of kicks and now a chance here for the Cheetahs again. Right about on the 22 meter line. Ruan Pinar waiting for that ball to come back. Now gives it out to Howard Manisi. Just short of the 22 is the Cheetahs now and they knock it on. So there's going to be a scrum down to the Cheetah after the Greek was on the 22 in the middle of the field. What a scrappy game so far. Um, rugby stuff, do you think uh, who's going to win, Greek was or Cheetahs? So I do feel that the Cheetahs have enough firepower to win them rugby stuff. And then uh, Tyno says, uh, do you think Duan will be a problem for the box? Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to start the test, though. Um, could probably, depending on how the tour goes, but I wouldn't say he's the first choice uh, winger for those games. So whether he will be selected, that's another question altogether. Levin J said, did you see Colby drop goal the other day from the half line, halfway line? Was really impressive. Yeah, he's, uh, well, he has been given slack for his recent performances, but I think that drop goal makes up for it run about. So while we have the talk, it is now a penalty to the Cheetahs on the 22. Um, they've really gave a lot of pressure to the Greek was there at scrum time. And Ruan Pinoff finally calls for a uh, penalty shot at goal after 28 minutes in this first half. We could possibly see the first points of the game. Right, in the meantime, the Greek was have a yellow card, still eight minutes left on that yellow card. So a lot happening at the moment. Just not able to get this game going at the moment. Both teams really not showing nitty gritty at the moment. So I'm still trying to see if there's a carry cup version where I could see the scores, but they're not showing that at all at the moment. Wait, there we go. Here we go. Right, so we are going to maybe pull this up for you guys real soon. Let's see if we can get this going. Let's share, share screen. And uh, let's go to that one and we share it. So there we go. Let's just get that score line going for us. Oh, that's not the way to do it. So the kick has gone over. It is three points to nil to the Greek was. And uh, there we go. Sorry, guys, just need to get this going for us. There we go. So we've had about 30 minutes. The Cheetahs leading three points to nil at the moment. And it's a cracking, uh, well, not a cracking game. It's a really sloppy, sloppy game as they, oh, wait a minute. Let's just see what happens from that kickoff. They're checking for a try here to the Greek West, but I think that they might have been a little knock on down the line there as well. So the Cheetahs led off the hook there by a, a little knock on from the Greek West. So scrum down to the Cheetahs. Round about on the 22 meter line inside Cheetah's half. Very, very sloppy. Albert Tritas joining in and says, Hope you're well. Will you be covering the Lions Japan game later today? Absolutely will be doing that one for you guys as well. Right, so that scrum wheeling just a little bit. We'll have to reset it again. So, with about 10 minutes to go in this first half, it's been really, really scrappy. We've got a yellow card, still about five minutes left of that for Greek was a professional foul on their own try line has caused a lot of issues for them. So it is going to be a cheat to scrum down here, round about on their own 22 meter line. Right, nine minutes to go. Scrum down to the Cheetahs. Run Pinar to feed this for them. Round right about on their own 22-meter line. 
Big scrum again from the Cheetahs. They do get it back now. Comes out to Clayton Blomikis, who kicks it downfield and not going to find touch. Into the hands of uh, Banda here for the for the Griquas. Here they come. Outdoor. There's a little bit of space here. JC Nell. JC Nell running hard, really hard here at the Cheetahs and still over, over the 22 meter line they go. About five meters out from the try line. Wow, what a run there. Right, the ball needs to come out. Will it come out for the for the Greek West? Yes, it will. Here they come again. No, a little knock on there from uh, the number eight. And it is going to be a scrum down to the Cheetahs. So bad mistake this time round from, oh, it was Gideon for the matter who knocked it on for the Greek West. But what a run there from, uh, well, in fact, it was, looks like it was the number 11 who had a dart down the middle of the field there. And that is, uh, can it be Edward Cater? By the way, there was a great breakaway from the Greek West there. And uh, unfortunately, Gideon van der Merwe just couldn't hold on to that ball. And it's been knocked on. And with eight minutes to go in this first half, it is going to be another scrum to the Cheetahs inside the round 22 but at the moment we're just receiving some attention for the players right so with eight minutes to go what is going to happen in this game will the greek was get a win over the cheetahs or will the cheetahs be able to get one here a lot of people are expecting them to win this, but it is a tough logger uh, box. So, yeah, it is uh, going to be a tough one all around. Obviously, still no supporters allowed in the stadium. So, regardless of that, but we'll have to see now what happens with the scrum. The Cheetahs have been dominating at scrum time for most of the game so far. Right, big big scrum coming up for the Cheetahs. Eight minutes left in this first half. Been hard to feed it. Levin J said, uh, are you backing either Team Guru for this one? Um, well, like I said, it's not really any of my teams, but the Greek was who and the, and the Cheetahs are basically the same distance away from my hometown. So... Yeah, I would say I'm neutral, but I do think that the Cheetahs will be able to get away with a victory here today. Oh, a little bit of a, again, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy play from both teams. But a penalty now to the Cheetahs from that scrum. So another illegal scrum from uh, the Griquas. And Ruan Pino is going to thump this downfield. And oh, he is going to find touch on the 22-meter line inside Griquas half. right so this is the back line of the quick list that i've just pulled up here for those of you who've missed it so far um the likes of banda Cassendi, jc nell andre swartz edwin kater george white it's stefan unriga and then the back line of the cheetahs clayton blomikis duncan soul boss of minisi tian Meyer, fortain and pinar Right, the line are taken beautifully there by the Cheetahs. And here they come. Manisi straightening the line over the 22-meter line for the Cheetahs. Pinar quickly it comes up to the number seven. Uh, Jock Potkita making his way up for it now. It's Clayton Blomikis out. It goes to, well, Duncan Sol missing that ball. But it comes back to their side. Here they come again. Cameron Dawson trying to make his way upfield. But the referee is now calling them back for something. Don't know if the touch judge has something to say here, but we'll have to wait and see with about six minutes left in this uh, first half. Well, that was just really sloppy again from the Cheetahs. Uh, I think there was a forward pass, I think, down the line. So, yeah, we are going to have a scrum down probably to the Griquist now, just around about on the 22-meter line inside their own half. Yeah, scrum down to the quick was. Six handling errors to the four. Uh, the Cheetahs leading the handling errors at the moment. Uh, 11 J said, uh, did Jason now play for the Bulls before? Yes, he had. Um, 
He used to play for the Bulls, I think. A youngster coming through nicely for them. Or maybe he was just on loan to the Bulls at some stage. Who knows? Right, the ball comes out to George Whitehead, who kicks it downfield. And he's going to find that roundabout on the 10-meter line inside their own half. So with five minutes to go in this first half, it's been really scrappy. Not a good game to watch. Aiden says, I mean, it's an incredibly bad game. It's not going to be a big scoring game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Aiden. It's a horrible game at the moment. Uh, probably uh, could say the two worst teams in the competition playing each other at the moment. So Pinar gets it up. Out it comes to Manisi again over halfway. He comes, but not making a lot of ground. Pinar again, knock on from Opa Mahache. And, uh, well, it's not Opa Mahache. It's actually Kwama. So he looks a lot like Opa Mahache. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's actually the number four um, for the uh, Greek was. And that is uh, Sekiketi. I've never seen him play before, and uh, yeah, where is Francho Fenter at? So, he is playing overseas, I just don't know for what club, but I know he's currently back in South Africa. I am trying to get hold of him somehow to get an interview done, so that's how I know he is back in South Africa at the moment. So, I've been trying really hard to get those interviews with the players, guys, but yeah, it's just really damn hard to get hold of them. So... Yeah, we'll keep trying, keep pushing. Hopefully, we'll have somebody on the show, which is a current rugby player, real soon on the channel. Right, so uh, 11 just said, if Aplon leaves, uh, both thing, then maybe should try and sign Devin Williams from the Pumas. Probably and perhaps will. But, you know, they do have Verity Um, and they also have the likes of David Creel, Richard Creel. So, yeah, that's... Uh, there's a lot of good players at the Bulls. Youngsters coming through really nicely. Um, then Pit Pomp is asking Naiguru, which games are you going to be commentating on today? So I will be doing that Japan versus Lions games right after this one. So I will get up the uh, notification roundabout on half time. Um, so I haven't had time. It's just been really crazy my side. Like I said, I even haven't had time to get the names right for this game. So. It's a little bit difficult, but we're getting there, uh, especially when you don't know the players as well, these youngsters that is playing today for both sides. So another big scrum from the Cheetahs, run right about on halfway, but it comes back to the Greek West and George White, it is run straight through. Oh, the intercept here from the Cheetahs, and it looks like, the, well, the number 23, who's that? <laughs> for the uh, Cheetahs, that is uh, Cohen Jasper who intercepted that for the Cheetahs, but not really making any ground at the moment, are they up to the 10-meter line? So, really, really, really sloppy play from both sides. Another chance here, Tian Mayer charging his way up to the 10-meter line for the Cheetahs. Pinar, out it goes to the loose forwards, driving the way up to the 10-meter line. Pinar again, out it comes to Manisi, not really making any ground. Now they find a bit of space with Duncan Sol. Duncan Sol is going to kick this forward. There's nobody at the back. Now they come there. Oh, another back in on Unraga. But the Greekers are going to counter attack on this one. And it is Kato who's going to run it up to the 10 meter line. A big collision at the back. Uh, saw Unraga go down yet again. Now George Whitehead. Out it goes to JC Nell. JC Nell running it upfield for the Greekers. Now they're making a bit of headways, the Greekers, slowly but surely. Bit of space on the outside there for the Greekers. Back inside. Oh, that's a beautiful pass to Kato over the 10-meter line. They need to get the pass out to Banda. And the Greekers are going to open the scoreboard here. That is a brilliant try from the Greekers. Great play. And finally, we've got some action in this game. We've had 38 minutes of play in this uh, first half. Banda gets the try off the great break from Kato, who's had a couple of good runs so far in this game. Right, so two minutes to go in this first half. It's the Griquis who gets the first try of this game. But what an inside pass from, was it, who's the number 12 for the Griquis? Let's just quickly have a look here. 
So it was Andre Swartz who passed it inside to Edwin Keita. And Keita had a great run down the middle. Passed it to Banda, who gets the try in the corner for the Griquas. So the Cheetahs are uh, absolutely in trouble at the moment. Right, so that scoreline is not correct. I don't know how they come to 10 points to 3, but it is currently 5 points to 3 for the Greek was There they go and fix it, finally. Right, so, yeah, with a minute to go in this first half, uh, which way is it going to go? The kick is good, so it's going to be 7 points to 3 with a minute to go in this first half. The Greek was getting the first try of the game, and uh, the Cheetahs will have to work hard here in the second half to get back into this one. Always expected a close game, but it's a horrible game so far, and really not uh, what you would have expected from uh, the Cheetahs at all today. Right, Lomikis with the restart goes high. Yeah, oh, nobody wanted it for the Griquas, and finally they got it through Unraga. He's going to run it up to his own 22-meter line. George White is going in that scrum off for the Griquas now. There's about 20 seconds left in this uh, first half. And uh, there we go. Just driving it up with the forwards, just wasting that time to get to halftime, really. And, uh, well, lead a game that they're not really supposed to be leading, as the Griquas one would feel. But too many mistakes in this game. There goes the kick from Whitehead into touch. So that is going to be half time here. And uh, it's really not looking that great for them at the moment. So seven points to three at half time. It is the uh, Greek was leading the cheaters here. And uh, yeah, all to play for for the second half. Let's hope we get a much better second half. Uh, going in this game because currently it is a horrible game um, guys i'm going to take a quick break when i do come back we will be getting ready for the second half uh don't go anywhere because we are going to do the lions versus the uh japan side just after this game which should be a really good one but i'll be back in just a couple of minutes time
Right, guys, we are back for the uh, second half of this game. And uh, it's been a terrible game, to be quite honest. Um, Etienne van der Matter says, hi, Kuru. How's it going, Etienne? Hope you're well. Um, it's been really, really bad. Um, Greek was scoring that last, or uh, the opening try of the game, right before half time. Apart from that, it's been knock on, knock on, penalty, penalty, uh, reset, reset all the time. Um, a very bad uh, display of rugby from South African sides. And the cheaters, for me, is just nowhere. They've been really bad. Barry is asking, how are you, Guru? I'm really well. Uh, thank you, Barry. Um, it's been uh, really tough so far. Um, I've been struggling to do these last games this weekend. Um, Sean Hendricks says hi. By the way, how's it going, Sean? Yeah, it's not the it's not the start that I would have wanted. I was late for this game. Couldn't do last night's game. So hopefully there will be no interferences for the uh, Lions Japan game. Um, really disappointed by the uh, quality of this game so far. Missed out on a really good game last night between the the Bulls and the Pumas. And for me, this looks like our two weakest sides in the competition for the Curry Cup this year is uh, this Greek West side and this Cheetahs one. So, yeah, not expecting too much more from them in the second half. Um, quickly going to go through what I've seen so far. Banda has been pretty solid for the Greek West so far. JC Nell's been good. Edwin Kater has probably been the Greek West best player on the field. George Whitehead has been pretty solid at 10. Stefan Unriga having a terrible game at Scrum Half. Well, one could say he's had a couple of really bad knocks so far in that first half as well. So not really helping him at all. Sergio got a yellow card. Uh, Guama and Gideon van der Merwe hasn't been that good. Lindsay Leonard, Ewald van der Westhuizen has probably been uh, the Greek was best uh, forward for today. And for the rest, it's just history, really. It's just been a really, really bad game so far. Uh, Barry says, sorry, I didn't know you were live streaming. Thought you would tell us, uh, you know, when you can normally say you're a reminder. Yeah, I put it up last minute because I was uh, expecting not to do this. And then uh, things changed. And I was able to, to do it for you guys. So, yeah, I really thought that I would be missing out on this again. So, here we go for the second half, guys. It is uh, seven points to three. And the restart from the Cheetahs finds... Uh, the Greek was round about on the round 22. Unruga now waiting for that ball to come out. Goes to the big forwards, just uh, setting up some quality ball for the uh, fly of George White. But it's been very scrappy, and I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised if there would be more issues coming in the second half. So Unruga has kicked that over the top. Box kick, five touch, round about between the 10 and halfway. So, uh, yeah, it's a uh, chance now for the Cheetahs. To find some rhythm and get into this game. As far as the uh, cheaters are concerned, Blomiki's pretty consistent at fullback. Uh, Duncan Sol has had a good few runs. Out Manusi has bashed this ball up a few times for the cheaters. Maya looking out of sorts on the left wing. Forte not really doing anything great. Ruan Pina trying his hardest, but things are just not going their way. So now Tia Maya out it goes to Jock Pot hitter up to the 10 meter line. Here comes the Cheetahs now on the attack. Tian Meyer out wide to Clayton Blomik. He's up to the 10-meter line. Bashed into touch. It's going to be a line out to the grid was on their own 10-meter line. So it looks like Tian Meyer has now moved to fly off where he actually belongs. Right. So Achilles says, good with Vipers, which nice the British and Irish lines. Well, I don't know. After that terrible game we've had uh, against the Sales Sharks, I don't know if, we, if we're even going to win another game. So the frame from uh, the Greek was taken beautifully at the back now. Here comes Unrego out to, uh, is it JC now who took that up for them? Unrego with a little kick over the top. Oh, it's going to bounce in the way of the Cheetahs. And now Duncan Sol can have a run here, but good defense from the Greek was. Great tackle on him by Gideon van der nearly turning that ball over. Now comes the Cheetahs again. Mayer's kick is not good and it goes directly into touch. So, yeah, he actually did start at fly off today. So, I don't know how they got that one wrong. But, yeah, it's not been his greatest game as well for the Cheetahs so far. 
Right, looking at that forwards, uh, Gideon van Wijk, Jaapoet, De Jean Brost, De Bernardi, uh, Sacchetti, could see Arnoldi and Dawson for the uh, Cheetahs, but they haven't really had a great game. It's now the line that has been stolen here by the Cheetahs, and they've got to, well, comes back to the way of the Greek was. Sloppy pass out wide to Banda. Banda's going to try and run this up to the 10 meter line. Not really making any ground. And now there's a little knock on from Unraga. And it's just been the story of the day so far. Horrible. Achilles says, well, I'm speaking a few seasons from now when we were all upgraded. Yeah, I think that uh, that would make a little bit more sense, though. Uh, Barry asking how's 11J set. And uh, yeah. We'll see how the second half pans out. We've got about 37 minutes left of it. And uh, like I said, it's been a horrible game to watch, really. Just uh, no consistency whatsoever from either of the two sides. It's definitely not been one of the better performances uh, from these guys. Right, so we're getting ready now for that scrum for the, for the Cheetahs. Right about on the 10 meter line inside the road half. Right, scrum goes down, penalty to the to the cheaters and chance for them to set up a line out attack here inside Brickwas half. Again, it is uh is it what number is he playing? Number three. So again it is uh no, it's not it's Andre Bierwinkel who gets penalized again for for that one. And it's his second or third penalty he's given away in this game. Barry said you should have seen Kiwi lads. It was crazy. What happened? I actually didn't. Uh, I actually didn't see that one, Barry. What happened to that? Uh, did something happen? Right. So here we come with the uh, lineup throw to the cheaters. Right about on the twenty-two meter line. It was actually a game that I was looking to do, but again, my things just didn't go my way this weekend so far. Achilles says, him and Guru and Gareth, my favorite swing, you tell him, Achilles. It's a shame that the Cheetahs won't play the Lions this year, although I think it would be a good result for the Cheetahs if they did. Well, thank goodness they don't play the Lions. Uh, the way they're playing at the moment, they would have got absolutely hammered. So the line are taken in by Saketi. Now Ruan Pinar back inside. It, oh, the referee has been run down. <laughs> but we are continuing play about 10 meters out from the try line. Here they come. Big try from the forwards. Opportunity for them here. Going forward is Jock uh, Potkita. Still about 10 meters out. There's a breakaway here. And it is going to be a try for uh, Gideon van Beek. For the Cheetahs, he just, nobody wanted to tackle him. And he gets the first try of the Cheetahs for today. We've had five minutes in the second half. Neil asking who will win for you. So I did say that the Cheetahs would win from the get-go. I thought that they would be maybe just a little bit too strong for the Griquas. But uh, really, I don't care who wins this. I'm on neutral grounds. Basically, both uh, these teams are about the same distance away. From where I live, so I would support any one of those two. Right, so Guru, my main man, of course, is Achilles. Thank you, man. Uh, Achilles, as I know, at some point uh, earlier, me and the dude argued in Kiwi Lads chat, and then uh, Barry, I'll give you the honors to tell him. Yeah, I'm really interested to know what happened with that one. Let me know, guys. Right, the conversion coming up from uh, Ruan Pinar. Will he get this one? Yes, he does. So 10 points to 7 it is after about 6.5 minutes gone. Right, will the Cheetahs maintain this lead or will the Griquas somehow find another way back into this? It's been very scrappy, very sloppy and just not a good game to watch so far. 10 points to 7. The Cheetahs are leading the Griquas at the moment. Just need to get the score updated. But it will probably in just a second. So the kickoff taken by the Cheetahs again. Run about uh, 5 out from their own 22. Ruan Pinar 
Jock Potfita trying to bash his way upfield for the, for the Cheetahs now. Now it comes back to Clayton Blomick. He's, he's going to kick this downfield. Not going to find touch with that and into the hands of Panda. Roundabout on the 10 meter line. He's going to kick it downfield again and into the hands of Clayton Blomick. He's on his own 22. Goes with another kick. Now it's becoming a kicking battle. The kick goes downfield. It's still rolling, rolling. And uh, that's going to go over the try line. So George Whitehead can just uh, put that down and restart this game for us. Right. Achilles says, I have a joke to tell. Oh, nice. Cheetahs lead, says Neil. Yep. They've just about taken the lead with uh, about uh, eight minutes gone in this uh, second half. Right, so we're going to have a 22-meter restart now for the Griquas yeah, at Tafalaga Park in Kimberley. And, uh, yeah, it's always tough traveling to this side of the country. So the kick has been taken deep, and the Cheetahs now kick it downfield through Duncan Soul into the hands of the Griquas again. Five meters up from their own 22. They put it up through the forwards, just trying to settle things down just a little bit. Unruga. Waiting for the ball to come back now. Oh, big, uh, big counter shuffle here from the Cheetahs. But the referee gives a penalty to the Greek was five meters out from their own 22. And, uh, <laughs> well, an extra 10 meters coming after Jock Potita had something to say to the referee. So penalty now on the 10 meter line uh, inside Greek was own half. Still waiting to hear what happened on the Kiwi Lads channel, guys. Right, so George White to kick this downfield for the Griquas now. We've had nine minutes in this uh, second half. And a chance now for Griquas to find touch inside the half of the Cheetahs. Finds a beautiful touch on the 22-meter line. So an attacking line out coming up for the uh, Griquas now. Gideon van Wijk, the guilty party there, kicking that ball out when it wasn't out just yet. So... Oranje <laughs> of orange, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably Oran Oranje uh, is on now for Unrega for the Greek West. So very strange surname to have, and a few replacements coming for the uh, cheetahs as well. Let's see uh, who those are. It's number seventeen. Let's quickly go through our list here. So number seventeen is uh, Chakweni, who's on, and then also Hink uh, is it Henkes van Beek? who's on for uh, for the Cheetahs as well. So it's been taken in by the Crick was the line out now over the 22-meter line go with a driving mall. Still going as the Crick was now about 15 meters out from the try line. Here they come. Still going forward as the Crick was now. 10 meters out from the try line. Still driving. Can the Crick was get here? They've got a penalty advantage now. And the ball doesn't seem to be coming out quick enough for the Crick was here. Great disruption from the Cheetahs there, but it's finally going to come out the way of the Greek was now. Right, comes out George White, giving it out to uh, Ewald van der Merde uh, Mer for the Greek was, and a penalty coming the way of them now. So about 10 meters out from the try line, they should probably try and kick this into touch here. Or will they try and level up the scoreboard? No, White did. Is going to kick this into touch for the Greek was. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez, like. Wow. Now that is that is really great for him. I think that would be a really great thing to happen on my channel. But yeah, but it's it takes time. So that is a great thing to happen for his channel. I'm really happy for him. We are great friends of, of uh, YouTube. So really good for him to get that really good donations going. Right, so the lineup now, five meters. Oh, it's a knock-on from the Griquas. And it's been kicked downfield by the Cheetahs now. And that's going to run into... Now, let's see where it's going to run out into. Not sure where it went out. But uh, Jasper is also now on for the Cheetahs. And he's the man who kicked that downfield. So the Greek was with a great opportunity going away, stay. Well, did he end up slapping? <laughs> did he end up slapping his friend or not? 
Highest bid was 300 New Zealand dollars. That's that's uh, that's insane. That is really insane. So did he end up uh, hitting or slapping his friend <laughs> that sit next to him? That probably would have been George, if I'm not wrong. Geez, like he got like uh, 600 New Zealand dollars in total. That's crazy. That is absolutely ridiculous. Right, so there's going to be a line up to the Griquas now. And, uh, well, they're first going to have attention to one of the injured players who's down at the moment. So, yeah, that is really insane. We've got about, well, there's still about 20, 28 minutes left in this game. Yeah, it's George. <laughs> Shame, did he? So he did uh, slap his friend. How hard did he go? Because uh, if I got 600 New Zealand dollars, my friend would be lying uh, passed out next to me if I had to slap him. So, yeah, probably didn't end well for George there. <laughs> Achilles says, Guru, I will sponsor you also one of these days. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's cool, Achilles. No problem. Take your time, man. Right, so the front hat uh, line out. It's gone scrappy again. Into touch again. The cheat is going quickly. And they're going to thump this into touch. Roundabout on the 10 meter line inside their own half. This is ridiculous. The poor rugby that we're seeing here today. Cherbal, did you see Kiwi Lad stream? Says Smitty. I just heard about it. The guys just told me that he slapped uh, his friend George for around 300 New Zealand dollars. In total, he managed to get 600 New Zealand dollars. Smitty says he's a bloody legend, much deserved donations. Absolutely. Now, he's, he's probably the best uh, New Zealand um, YouTuber at the moment. And look at this a breakaway try for the Griquas. It's JC Nell who ran through the Cheetahs defense there. And gets the try for the Griquas to take them back into the lead. Well, is this game finally going to get some action? From that lineup, beautifully taken. Oranje put, took the pass. Then it's a break, great break from JC now. Beat three, four defenders on his way to the try line there. That is just brilliant. And you can see what kind of impact the Bulls have had on this guy. Great stuff from the, from the Griquas. Smitty Toilet says, mate, 700 New Zealand dollars. Damn it. That is uh, really, really, really good. Barry says, it was, it was, we were going the highest bidder. They were granted the request. <laughs> Jeez, like, yeah, that is crazy. For 700 New Zealand dollars, a guy sitting next to me would have uh, got a massive slap. I hope he gave him one that he will remember for a while. Right, so the Greek was have taken the lead, guys. This is, uh, yeah, great breakaway from JC Nell to get that try for them. And, uh, yeah, it's 14 points to 10 after 54 minutes. What a turnaround again from halftime. They were leading seven points to three. They've got their four-point lead back now. And a restart by Clayton Blomikis now. Oh, that has not been secured by the Greek was. They do get it back though, but really, really sloppy and a good counter up from the Cheetahs as well, putting a lot of pressure on them. But George Whitehead finally gets to that ball for the Griquas, just setting it up for his forwards. And now just awaiting this one to come back. It is Oranje waiting for the ball to come back. What a strange uh, surname to have. And then he gives it out to George Whitehead under pressure, but finally gets kicked away by Cassendi for the Griquas. And he's going to find touch on the 22 meter line inside their own half. The highest bidder for Guru will get the first two murky makes for free and free delivered. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I definitely agree. I'm immensely underrated as a channel. Favorite rugby YouTuber, Guru and G Man, coming second and third. Thank you so much, Maria. I really appreciate it. And I must say, I'm also a big fan of the Kiwi Lads. Definitely way up there for me when it comes to rugby YouTubers. And definitely deserves a lot more uh, subscribers than he's currently got. But we'll get there. But all of us doing these live commentary, putting up the videos, we will get eventually that great uh, support that we need. So the Cheetahs, in the meantime, are having a massive mall down the middle. And it looks like they're on their way to the try line, just a meter short. 
but into touch they go and unfortunately they just couldn't get there it is uh the uh hooker yanka yahanka ace that managed to put arnoldi into touch there so great work from them in the end from the greek was keeping them out uh let's see actually says the higher better for guru will get his first two murky makes for free and free delivered she's like that is that is a big one Achilles. um yeah we'll probably see what we can do on that regard i am planning guys on making a, a couple of mercs uh we'll have to watch the space in the meantime so yeah it's not that far off but in the meantime it's a line out to the greek was let's just quickly get through this and then we'll have a chat about the Merc maybe coming out one of these days real soon. So Oranje waiting for that ball five meters from his own try line, gets it out to his forward. Still on the try line at the moment is the Greek was just waiting for this to come out. They need to really try and get this away as quickly as possible. Comes out to Whitehead and he's going to have enough time to put this into touch. About five meters inside the 22 of the. Uh, Cheated of the Greek was. Uh, let's see, Smitty Toilet says First Nation, four bucks, five bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, thirty bucks, five. Okay, a hundred bucks, hundred free answer. So basically, the highest bit was three hundred dollars. The person request was to slap him. Uh, will there be Guru, Guru merchandise one day? 11J said, Yes, there will be. So, yeah, I am planning on making a few cups, uh, caps. Hopefully going to get a jersey, something very similar to this one, but with the with the Rugby Guru logo on it. Um, you guys can obviously give me some more ideas that we can implement into the Guru Rap or the Rugby Guru Merc. And hopefully it could become a really good brand, hopefully in the future. So yeah, 11 J said uh, yes, we will get Merc from Guru soon. Uh Smitty Toilet says, yeah, man, cool guy. I wish I could donate. Donors don't work on YouTube for me. If Hamish did Twitch streams as well, I could probably donate. So the thing with Twitch, we'll have to start all over again. That's the that's the big problem that we do get on Twitch these days, Smitty Toilet. But we could probably try and stream from Twitch at some stage as well in the future. Right, so in the meantime, nothing special has happened in this game. The Cheetahs got possession just outside of 22 after Greg Wilson. Guess what? They've knocked it on again. So it is going to be another scrum down. Well, we're coming back for a penalty, a high tackle on the grid, on the on the cheaters. So, what will Ruan Pinard decides to do? Will they go for touch here? Uh, there's so many. Uh, let's see. Let uh, at least says he will make sure it's hoodies, caps, etc. As time goes on, and I'm serious. The highest bet you can get free merc. Right. Uh, Smitty says the stream's still on YouTube. Still pop. The stream's still on YouTube, still public. What What is that, Smitty? I don't understand that one uh, about the stream still on YouTube, still public. Uh, crew, a shirt like your crew rugby shirt on the game would be a nice merc. That would be great, but it would be hell expensive to make, unfortunately. But we'll see. Hopefully, we can, we can get that in order because that was a really, really nice shirt. Or jersey that they managed to make for us there on that one right so yeah the cheat is really not going anywhere at the moment they've been bundled into touch again and it's going to be a scrum down now not a scrum but a line out to the greek was again so 20 minutes to go in this game it's just ridiculous how many errors we've had in this game smitty toilet says uh, did you see the maori versus monosamoa game uh, no i didn't so i've had a few issues that i had to resolve um, that's why i didn't do last night's game and also i plan on wanting to do that maori game but just yeah things just didn't work out that way but yeah we are here today so hopefully the japan lions game will make up for that for you guys right so oranje is waiting for that ball to come out gets to george white and under pressure here and he is going to get the kick down field but again not into touch and now duncan soul out it goes to Clayton Blobbik. He's now Tian Meyer. Well, in fact, no, it is uh, Jasper who's got it for the for the cheaters up to the 10 meter line. He goes, and uh, well, what do you know? The, the Greek was have counter that again, and now here they come. 
an opportunity if they go wide here comes out to uh is it kate has got that one that is into touch so referee you have to call you haven't seen the the ball gone oh yeah now it sees it so it's going to be a line out to the cheetahs roundabout on the 10 meter line um it was uh stepped out by the sunday day for the greek was what oh, terrible this has been guys uh, the chat has been more lively than the game itself 11J said, if Cheetahs did not have Ron Pinar, I don't think they would do well at all. Um, his experience and leadership helped the Cheetahs a lot. And then Smitty Doyle says, yeah, I don't really, I don't really a good history of Samoans. Uh, back in high school, two Samoans transferred from Auckland, Higa Prop and Hooker. Uh, oh, huge Prop and Hooker came over to Rotaro running the school. <laughs> yeah, those guys are huge, man. Uh, Samoa, Fiji. And Tonga's got some really big boys. So up to the 10 meter line for the Cheetahs. Now penalty advantage coming their way. Zaketi out to Blomik. He gives it up. Now a chance for Jasper. Puts it to the boot. And Jasper on the run here. Can he get it all the way? Oh, that goes into touch, unfortunately. So we are going to come back for a penalty to the Cheetahs again. A high tackle from... Uh, the number 12, Swart there, Andre Swart, the penalized or the guilty party there. And uh, chance now again for the Cheetahs to thump this downfield. Uh, Barry asking, is there Francois Stein for Cheetahs? No, there's no Francois Stein. He's actually with the Springboks. So no Springboks allowed to play in uh, the Curry Cup this season, Barry. So... Yeah, that's why he's not available for selection for the Cheetahs. That ball goes out about, well, between the 10 and, and the 22-meter line inside Rickwas half. So, chance for the for the Cheetahs again. Let's see if they can really get there. Uh, Swinny says, bully the little guys. No one did anything about it until the Murray's had enough about 20. <laughs> All right, that is, a, that is an interesting story, Smitty. So, did you guys end up making friends in the end, or did it uh, stay in bad blood? Right, so the lineout has been taken by the Cheetahs now. They're going to drive this up through their hooker, um, Arnaldi. Now, Ruan Pinar breaks away up to the 22 meter line. He goes, doesn't get the good pass away, and it's been turned over by the Griquas again. And Oranya now, Arik goes to Whitehead, puts it to the boot. There's nobody at the back for the Cheetahs. Who's chasing after this? Is Skater is charging after this? blomiki has got enough time. Oh, he's going to sidestep him and run from here. From his own 22, gets caught by three Greek with defenders. And uh, trouble here for the for the Cheetahs. It's been turned over by the Greek West again. Here they come. If they go wide, there's an overlap here. Oh, nearly intercepted by the Cheetahs there. Just disrupting the, che the Greek West there on that occasion. And run about on the 10-meter on the line inside uh, Cheetahs half. The Griquas now have another chance to go on the attack. Oranya, out it goes to White. It now uh, out wide to go. A little overlap here. Gideon van der Merwe making a couple of meters. Now Oranya again trying to work his way up for, for the Griquas now. But it's been turned over by the Cheetahs. Kicked downfield by Blomikis. And that's going to go directly into Dutch. So we're coming back for a lineup. Oh, the errors are tremendous in this game. Cannot believe that this is a professional game that we're watching on TV at the moment. Uh, the Springboks play next Friday, right? Yes, they are. They are playing on Friday as far as, as I know. Achilles, uh, they are playing Georgia next week, Friday. So we will be doing that one as well. Um, Bay, what do you think of the Maori All Blacks versus Samoa game? Uh, well, I can't really say anything on that because I didn't watch it. So I will have to go watch the highlights at some stage. Um, but yeah, it's it's really disappointing that I couldn't watch it. But uh, we'll definitely go and watch the highlights at some stage. Right, so with 15 or 16 minutes to go in this game, I really can't wait for this game to get finished, guys. This is horrible. Right, a chance now for a throw in here from, uh, is it H.T. Lease who throws it in for the Greek West, about five minutes out from the 22. A chance now for the Greek West to maybe 
seal this game off. Still going now, Rania waiting for that ball to come out. There's is a breakaway here from the Greg Quirst. It's a Rania up to the well, five meters out from the try line, two meters out now. Can the Greg Quirst get this try down or has it been turned over? Let's wait and see if that ball comes back for them very slowly indeed. It does come back to the Greg Quirst side. They do go over the try line. Where the hell up or did he get the try down? He looks very confident. It is. Uh, is it uh let's see who the number four is can't be john de lombard surely but the try has been awarded for the greek was and that should basically seal this game off with about 14 minutes to go in this game it is a try by zanelle zito for the uh greek West side 11J said, this game is just a warm-up to get us ready for the Lions versus Japan game. Absolutely. So, yeah, let's let's hope uh, that it will be a huge improvement as well, uh, Barry, because uh, this is really, really bad at the moment. You expect to, to see two professional sides uh, play a lot better than they are at the moment. And to be quite frankly honest, this looks like a, a club game from my local local team here back in Oakwood. So, yeah, they are very amateurs compared to the SA school boys. It's weird to Greg was playing good and leading. Yeah, no, it is good for the Greg West, really. I expected the Cheetahs to win this one, but it seems like the Greg West will hold on for a victory in this one. We've got 14 minutes left or 13 minutes left and uh, 11 point uh, difference at the moment i just can't see them coming back into this one to be quite honest this is uh, not good from them at all right the restart has been taken and it's again sloppy of the back for the griquas as well and now is that a high tackle from the cheetahs yes it is so uh yeah another Penalty to the grid was here. A high tackle from the Cheetahs and a chance for George Whitehead to put this downfield for the grid was to find touch. Maybe run about on halfway or something. Let's see where this ball gets to go out. It is going to find, oh, that's a great kick from uh, George Whitehead. And it's going to find touch run about between the 10 and the 22 of the Cheetahs. So another chance now for the Griquas to maybe have a crack at them. And the Cheetahs just falling completely out of favor at the moment. Really, really poor play today. So it's on the 10 meter line inside Cheetahs half. And that ball has been stolen by the Cheetahs now. Here they come again. Opportunity out wide and they go quickly. Here they go. It's Clayton Blomikis up to halfway they go. Not great though. Making too many mistakes. At vital times here for the for the cheetahs. Tian Mayer with the pass. They've gone backwards again. Is the cheetahs great defense from the Greek West, but a penalty coming the way of the cheetahs. Pinot goes quickly. Pinot tries to step a couple up to halfway. And uh, that was probably not the greatest decision from him. Now a chance here. If they move this wide, there's an overlap here for the cheetahs. Goes through the hands. Here they come. Oh, decides to go in himself is the number six. Uh, Reynard Bernardi, who tried to go on his own there, but the Cheetahs still got the ball now. Clayton Blomikis, out it goes to one of the replacements. Number 19 is uh, Renir Fulyun for the Cheetahs. Trying to bash their way forward, Henko Biakas. Or his low on Pothito makes a couple of meters. Now Blomikis again. Arnaldi knocks it on, and a chance now for the Greek West to break free up to the 10 meter line. But yeah, the referee calling them back for another knock-on. Two knock-ons. So, yeah, no. This is really, really bad. Levin just said, I was hoping the Cheetahs would win, but both are South African teams, so it doesn't make a big difference to me. Yeah, it's like I said, both teams very close to me personally, so it doesn't really matter who wins it. But you have to feel sorry for the Cheetahs rugby overall. They... They looked good when they were playing in the Pro 14. Things started to looking up or started to look up for them. Uh, they were starting to get some really good players coming their side. 
And then all of a sudden, SA Rugby decided to dump them again out of the competition. And since then, there's not been a lot said. They've lost a lot of players. Um, they've kept the likes of Francois Stein and Ruan Pinar, but that's because they've got other businesses going for them in uh, Bloemfontein as well. So it's really sad for, for Cheetah Rugby, really, if you have to compare it. Even the Griquas have been struggling for a long period of time, and I can think the only reason why the Pumas are really playing as well as they are are the fact that they've got that brilliant coach uh, for them at the moment. Right, here they come. George Whitehead again got caught behind the advantage line there by the Cheetahs, but the, che the Griquas will manage to get this back five minutes inside their own half. Urania waiting for the ball to come back. Driven forward by the big boys now. Still going over halfway. Goes the Greek West now. Urania again. Gives it back to his big forwards. Over halfway to go. Now it's a, a charge here from them again. George White it breaks free. Just about five meters out from the 22. The Greek West now with another opportunity here. Oh, another sloppy pass. Banda's got it. Here they come again. Lease back inside. Was there a little knock on? Yes, there was. So penalty coming. The way of the Greek was just round about on the 22 meter line. Well, there's about nine minutes left, Barry. Um, I, the time is up on the clocks. Oh, I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, yeah, there's about nine minutes left in this game. Right. So, Levin J said, I'm sure Rusty will sort uh, something out for the cheaters. Rusty said, before he has been working lots with them. Yeah, he used to play for the for the cheetahs as well as coach them. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if one man has the power to do all that different stuff, but they desperately need to get back into a really good competition. And I mean playing in a Russian league is not going to to make up in quality for what they need to do, you know? So I really hope for them that they can really uh, become good again. Um, but as far as things are looking now, it's it's really not going well for them. That kick from White, it goes over. So 24 points to 10 with about eight minutes to go. <clears throat> Alistair is a good coach today. He wants to be, says <laughs> Achilles. Christian says, hi, guys. Hope you're all well. We're really good, Christian. So, yeah. Would have been a thing back in the early 20s, but UA dropped off. So I don't know what's going on with Australia, but they definitely have gone backwards, say, the last uh, 10, 15 years. They've hardly been the dominant force like they were way back in, uh, was it uh, 1999 when they won the World Cup? And since then, things have just gone horribly wrong for them. So, yeah. Right, so not a lot happening in this game, guys. It's uh, another line out now to the Cheetahs, about five meters out from the uh, Greek West 22. And they really have to score now if they want to maybe level this game up or even maybe try and win this if they can. But the line out now from Arnoldi has been, oh, it's been knocked on again. But it comes back. Yeah, it's been knocked on by the Greek West. Oh, it's no. It's not a knock-on. The referee says play on. And in the meantime, there's an interception from the Griquas. And they're going to score under the post. That is game set match. And what a try to the Griquas. It is Edwin Cater who gets the try for uh, the Griquas. Barry asking, would you ever try commentating in women's rugby? Jeez, like, that would be really tough, uh, Barry. Um, I don't know any women's rugby players, but, I mean, if given given the task to do, I would surely try and do it. I wouldn't mind trying out doing one of the... Co I know they're busy with their own Curry Cup, the women's division as well. Actually, I think it's Border that beat the, the Blue Bulls women last night. So, yeah, definitely have a go at it if... Uh, if I ever had to try and do it. So <laughs> it's now is the time for you guys to say whether you guys would want me to do a women's game in the future or not. 
Right. Uh, 11J asking, who's your favorite South African referee currently? Um, currently, it must be Yaku Paper, although a lot of people will argue with me and say he's he's not the greatest of referees in South Africa. And then Marius van der Vesta is an, also not terrible. But uh, for me, Yaku Paper, obviously, for me, is just the most experienced one at the moment. But my all time favorite must be between Andre Watson and Jonathan Kaplan. Um, Barry asking, is that score correct? You are, oh, well, it's, it's correct. That's what it is, Barry. It's 31 points to 10 to the Griquas. They just scored another intercept try and a chance now for them to, to just work their way up. Oranya waiting for the ball at the back, around about on a 10 meter line. They're just going to kill time off. There's about five and a half minutes to go. This game is done and dusted. Now it is uh, 31 points to 10, Barry. So, yeah, there we go. The kick into the air taken by Clayton Blomick. He's beautifully taken by him. And uh, here comes the Cheetahs now on the attack. The Mayer. Out it goes. Opportunity here for them. Working up to halfway. <laughs> Christian says, Jakob Paper is blind. Rasta is champ. Well, Rasta is another one. That is, uh, that is another really good referee as well. I like the way he doesn't take any nonsense from anybody. So, yeah, I forgot, totally forgot about Rasta, uh, but I would still probably say um, that uh, Paper is still my favorite one. Achilles is Kaplan is beast. Yeah, no, Jonathan Kaplan, for me, was one of the best referees ever to referee a game. But my all-time best referee surely must be Nigel Owens. Um, you will never get a better referee than that guy, for sure. And the worst referee, obviously, Bryce Lawrence. No, not, no, sorry, not Bryce. Is it Bryce Lawrence? Yeah. No, is it Bryce Lawrence? Who cost us the 2011 World Cup? Was it Bryce Lawrence? Can't remember. <laughs> Achilles, yeah, it's, it's incredible at rugby, second favorite rugby team. Smitty UA is uh, desperate. Yeah, so Smitty says Bryce Lawrence. Yeah, so for me, that is the worst uh, referee you will ever find around. And then uh, Nigel Owens, the best degree. Uh, Barry says your fav my favorite is Yaku Paper as well. So, yeah, even with all his flaws, I do feel that uh, he is a decent, a decent referee. It's a pity what happened to him at the World Cup. Um, Uh, we don't claim Bryce Law in South Africa. I apologize on New Zealand's behalf, says Smitty Toilet. So apology accepted, man. Um, so, yeah, the Cheetahs are still trying valiantly to, to get a last try before the end of this game. We've got about three minutes left in this run. Pino waiting for the ball to come back. Now it's an opportunity for them. Maybe if they move this wide, comes back to the big prop forwards, driving their way up about 10 meters out. From the try line now, Ruan Pino out to Jock Potgieter again. Potgieter tried valiantly today, but to no avail. Duncan Sol now. Ruan Pino again gets it back now. Tian Mayer out it goes to Tia, yeah back switches back inside to Tian Mayer again. Now Pino just waiting it, bashing it up with the big boys. Some people don't like Jakub Paper. Absolutely, I know uh, a lot of people don't like him. It was Lawrence, uh, but did he not also read the second line test in 2009? Could probably be, but I mean, I remember him for, for that big uh, mess up he made in the 2011 World Cup. But yeah, the trick, the box, though, Savannah tries was tries. We probably might have been a big fan base in Pretoria, though. <laughs> yeah, they always say that. So. Yeah, somehow the Cheetahs have managed to blow another opportunity for a try, and the Griquas are absolutely ecstatic to get a penalty there. And, uh, yeah, what do you know? Great uh, defense there from the Griquas holding the Cheetahs up in the tackle, and that's why they celebrated the way they did. Smitty says, thank you, Greg Kubert. We'd all in favor, home field advantage, inform everything. 
Yeah, no, that is quite a big discussion on the referees in South Africa and abroad. So, like I said, for me, my favorite uh, South African referee of all time, Jonathan Kaplan, and the best referee ever to blow is definitely Nigel Owens, with Bryce Lawrence getting the award as the worst referee ever. Uh, Smitty says, our greatest coach as well, along with the incredible supporting cast. Yeah, no, look... Uh, Steve Hansen, an absolutely war warrior of a coach, and probably the best coach to to ever to ever coach the game. Uh, Barry says, uh, "I'll imagine Bryce Lawrence doing a British and Irish line series." Oh goodness, no, 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 no. We'll lose three 0 Right, so scrum down again for the Greek was here. About a minute left in this game, and yeah, it's been it's been one of those games. You. You really hope for the best, but at the end of the day, it just turns out to be a really, really poor performance. Smitty says, I reckon Graham Henry, Steve Hansen's successor. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Graham Henry as well was a good coach, but yeah, probably the two best coaches to, to ever coach rugby was Graham Henry and Steve Hansen. Uh, where is he now? Does he still ref? Asked Barry. So Nigel Owens, no, he's not refereeing anymore, but he is doing stuff for World Rugby these days. So I don't know if he's an ambassador for the game or what exactly, but uh, he's had a program on on YouTube and on uh, social media as of late. Um, quite funny. You guys should go and check it out. I think all of those episodes are on the World Rugby YouTube channel. So, yeah. Um, Another last scrum here for the Greek was now. That ball is going to go out, and they're going to just kick this into touch. That is the full time, guys. So, Greek was hammering the cheaters at home. 31 points to 10. Not the greatest of games to ever watch. And I'm so glad that this game is over. Um, talking about Bryce Lawrence. Oh, Bryce Lawrence. I have no idea, Barry. Um, I don't know if they. Yeah, there was rumors that he was going to start refereeing again, but I don't think he is actually doing it at the moment. I might be wrong. The kids, uh, Guru, I asked earlier, do you know whatever happened with Boom Prinsler that played for the Cheetahs years ago? I do not know, uh, uh, Achilles. I do know who Boom Prinsler is, but I think he's coach, isn't he coaching somewhere in Japan, maybe? Um, I think that is the last time I heard of uh, Boom Prinsler, but it could be even that I'm wrong and it could be somewhere else as well. 11J said, shocking result for the Cheetahs here. Yeah, didn't expect this to happen. Uh, so, yeah, 11J says, thank you for your time, Guru. Take care. So, that is a bad loss for the Cheetahs here today. 31 points to 10, and definitely not what they would have been looking for to open a Curry Cup campaign. So let's hope it's not more of the same for them. Guys, thank you for tuning in for this uh, live stream. We will be back at around 10 minutes to, well, we'll probably come in at quarter to four for that big game between the Lions and Japan. Until then, guys, this is the Rapid Guru. Cheers for now.